Well, if you have grade schoolers in the house, they'll probably be interested in this next report. Now, if you don't, you can learn about a craze that's been sweeping the nation. NBC 12 reporter Jim Babb marched into the marketing breach today to bring us this story of Pokemon. I'll trade you this uh, holographic for a Japanese holographic. You've got hundreds of these cards. I got, yeah, some. Yeah, and I've got a lot more at home. <laughs> so tell me, why do you like Pokemon? I don't know. <laughs> You're not sure why you like it, but you do, right? Yeah. Got a catch on like so many other fads, it got started with a kid's TV show. And now Pokemon is a marketing phenomenon. Kids and parents line up every Saturday at this Chesterfield County bookstore, and they dig deep. How much did all this cost? $30 with a discount. Then the games begin with Byzantine rules. How do you play the game? Uh, I can't explain it. It's too long. I'll switch. I'll put out my dragon there, even though it has 60 damage on it. Oh, boy. Now it has three energy on it. Slam attack. So if you had the time to tell me, I wouldn't understand it. No. <laughs> um, I'm watching, and, and uh, I still have no clue. <laughs> and think about this. This kind of thing is happening in bookstores and toy stores all around the country. If you hadn't known it before, know it now. Pokemon is big. The biggest trend in kids' toy history, it's multi, multi-billion dollars. Money, big time money. You wish you'd invest it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Jolteon. Jolteon. Mm -hmm. What's special about Jolteon? I don't know. He's holographic. In Chesterfield County, I'm Jim Babb, NBC 12. And those little cards aren't cheap. Some merchants charge about three bucks for a booster pack of.